Hi, and welcome to a partner series to Her Story on the Rocks podcast, Her Story Top 10, where you will get 10 interesting facts about a woman in history. In this series, I talk about good women, bad women, fictional women, and non-fictional women from all times and places because women have nuance. Today, we're digging deep into the first African-American first lady herself, Michelle Obama. Michelle Robinson was born January 17th of 1964 in Chicago. She was raised as part of a working class family that had dinner together each night. Bonus fact, they say if you have dinner together with your kids, they will know 10,000 more words than their peers because of the conversation. When Michelle was relatively young, her father was diagnosed with MS. She watched him struggle but never complained and he became one of her biggest heroes. Two, she and her brother Craig worked really hard in school so they would not be an emotional or physical burden on her father or a financial burden on their family. When Craig got into Princeton, she said, if he got in, then I can definitely get in. Even though people were telling her she was setting her sights too high. Three, at Princeton, Michelle studied sociology with a focus in African-American studies and then went to Harvard Law to become a lawyer. After she graduated from Harvard as a juror's doctor, she moved back to Chicago to practice law in her hometown. Four, one day she was supposed to mentor a newcomer, but he showed up late for the job. That somebody happened to be Barack Obama. She was unimpressed with his lateness and what seemed like arrogance at the time, but he liked her though and he asked her out not once, but several times. She finally agreed not to a date, but to go out just for the day. At the end of that one day, she was hooked. Five, Michelle not only worked as a lawyer, she worked in the legal department of a hospital. One can only assume that this is where her White House health kick ideas came from. Being a lawyer is also where we can presume she attained her amazing speaking skills. Six, although supportive, Michelle did not want Barack to run for president at first. She knew what it would mean for her family, but after a discussion, Michelle left her position at the hospital to help Barack campaign. On the campaign trail, she became known as the closer for bringing home the support. Seven, Michelle's two daughters, Sasha and Malia, were very young when they moved into the White House, and she just wanted to be a normal mom, but the Secret Service kind of got in the way. She couldn't drive them to school in the mornings or attend ballet dances or have other children spend the night without a big hassle, but Michelle could do one thing. She did not let the White House staff clean up after her children. They needed to learn how to make a bed in order to be an adult. Eight, Michelle championed several campaigns while she was first lady, including planting a vegetable garden on the White House lawn, the Let's Move campaign, the Reach Higher campaign, and the Let Girls Learn campaign. Each of these tackled issues in the United States and the world and were focused on the betterment of children. Nine, Michelle Obama's image was important to people all over the country. She received both positive and negative feedback. She wore gray nail polish on television that sold out the next day. And when she got bangs, so did everyone else. She also brought sleeveless dresses to the White House. Many people did not like this, saying it was inappropriate. People also racially profiled her, saying she was Barack's baby mama and that on stage they did a terrorist fist jab. 10. Michelle published her memoir in 2018 called Becoming. She described this as a deeply personal experience. The book talks about her roots and how she found her voice, as well as her time in the White House, her public health campaign, and her role as a mother. 
This has been another episode of Her Story Top 10, providing you with 10 quick interesting facts about a famous woman from history. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and leave us a comment about a woman that you would like to hear more about. If you want to know about Michelle Obama's entire story, you can download our podcast, Her Story on the Rocks, on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify. And never forget, well-behaved women rarely make history.